Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. Just got back from Tabletop Games on Metcalf in beautiful Overland Park, Kansas, where I went to the Beholder Paint and Take event, sponsored by WizKids, and got this bad boy. I know he's kind of hard to see in that light, but this is the WizKids Beholder. This is the one that's been out of, out of, uh, sold out forever. Um, so I signed up for this event just to get this guy <coughs> excuse me and it turned out to be a fantastic event okay um, it was a competition which I didn't realize until I got there that there was going to be a competition I thought there was just going to be door prizes but uh, yeah they actually had a beginner and an intermediate category and um, and there was prizes for first second and third prize and then most creative I didn't win any of that I got a $10 gift card for most creative, or not most creative, excuse me, I got a $10 gift card as a door prize, and then um, Phil, the owner of Tabletop Games, told me that my beholder looked like it was right off the cover of the book. Um, I'm not sure which book he's talking about, I'm assuming it's one of the, like, Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual or Player's Manual or something like that, but... Um, that really made me feel pretty good <laughs> and apparently mine was one of the ones that caused a lot of there is some hard judging there is some fights uh, friendships were lost uh, blood was shed that kind of thing and mine was one of the ones that caused that so I'm pretty happy with the fact that even if I didn't win I caused chaos <laughs> in my passing um, it, it really was a fantastic event to, to go there and paint with all these fantastic people uh, got to meet a lot of new people there um, and there was a huge wide range of of painting skills and almost nobody like my monster manual has the beholder as kind of a muddy brown color and almost nobody nobody painted it that color and nobody painted there like anybody else's like everybody had their own unique color scheme and there's just a wide range of colors going on in it and just some amazing amazing stuff and it was just a really fun event to just sit there and paint with a bunch of other people I'm gonna to have to go to tabletop and do that more often um, if I if I had to pick one thing to improve it I would say add an intermediate category just because um, had I entered as a beginner I would have been up against uh, there was one guy that had only been painting miniatures for about a month I there's one guy that I think that tonight was his first miniature ever <laughs> um, and then uh, on the other side of the coin entering in the advanced category which is what I did put me up against people like Brian Bledsoe who has got all my love and respect really the, the dude is awesome he's been painting about as long as I have and he's won a golden demon <laughs> So I know my stuff's better than just started painting a month ago, but at the same time, it's not quite Golden Demon standard. So give me an intermediate category and I will rock that shit. But <laughs> as it is, I, I have to be content with leaving hate and discontent uh, in my wake. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way he came out, like I said. Um, did a lot of contrast paints for the body, so most of the, most of the body was done really quickly. I think I had uh, almost like an hour to just wander around the store and, and see what other people are painting and see what other people are playing and all this kind of thing. Um, because really the, most of the detail went into the eyes and the teeth, the mouth, and all these ridiculous little horns all over this dude's body. I mean, holy, holy jeez, this guy has a lot of little freaking horns everywhere. And then for somebody who doesn't like painting eyes, I I got a creature that's all eyes. <laughs> I hate painting eyes. But this was a seriously fun little event. I've got some work left to do on this guy still. Um, I need to matte seal him. I need to gloss coat all the eyes and the inside of the mouth and everything and, and finish them up. There's a lens that goes on over the eyeball that uh, needs, to needs to be gloss coated and uh, trimmed down a little bit because it's... I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little foggy. Apparently, a quick uh, 
once over with uh, hard coat will uh, take that away and make it transparent and glossy. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's like 10, 15 at night. <laughs> um, I'm going to post this uh, as soon as I get done here. But yeah, Tabletop Games, um, Metcalf Avenue, Overland Park. They're holding another Beholder Paint and Take event on the 19th. So check out their website. I'll put a link in the video description below. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, I think they were talking about having a third Paint and Take event. Um, and if you just want to pick up a Beholder, I was told that they have a bunch of them uh, coming... Like they're not in stock yet, but they're on order, and hopefully WizKids is going to be producing a lot of them. Like WizKids had no idea this figure was going to blow up the way it did, so um, there's going to be a lot more coming. So look for that in the future too. Um, anyway, fantastic event, Phil. Shout out to Phil and all the guys at the guys and girls at Tabletop. It was a fantastic event. Had a lot of fun. Looking forward to doing it again. So thanks a lot, and I will see you guys later.